Hello and welcome to Stream Tabulous. Uh, so I put up the other video of how to put Koya on the system. Now you need Python, uh, you need Git, and you need the uh, NVIDIA toolkit for the CUDA drivers. Now Python, it turns out Koya is written for an older version of Python and um, it seemed to be more important than I thought. So you'll need to download version uh, 3.10.6. Now I'll put the link in the description below for uh, my cloud. Um, you should be able to find it on the Python website as well uh, to download the older version, but it's important that it is um, 3.10.6. Um, now the problem is if you've gone through my other tutorial, I'm sorry, this is a bit of a nightmare, you will have to delete the Koya SS file and redo it, which means, yes, you're going to have to click the setup bat again. Um, now, there's a couple of things I noticed running the setup bat, and I've actually got it open, so I want to go over to that and show you uh, that now. So we'll go over to that screen quickly. Okay, so I've ran it, and again, it's taken... Uh, about 15 minutes uh, to do its uh, installation as I showed before with the network running in the background. Uh, this time, there's no errors. Okay. And I got a little bit confused because when I installed it on my other machine, it came up with uh, a different selections and I didn't get that. And it turned out um, it didn't get that because uh, it's missing from the uh, Python. So couple of things I'd recommend to do a git pull and I'll show you that for a moment uh, we'll just bring up um, bring this up we'll go clear SS you with me okay okay this is the queer SS website so what we want to do is you've installed git so if you create a folder and we come down Scrolling, scrolling, and skip all this. Try not to go too fast. This here, we want to copy that there. But what we want to do is we want to create a folder. So I created this one, right? And then what we want to do in that folder, I'll just create another one here, and we'll just, I'll just do it in there. Click on the line and type CMD. And then we put the git pull in there. And when we press that, what it's going to do... So you put your... Um, just paste it in there. And then when you press enter, it's going to clone and create that folder. So I'll show that again. We'll delete this folder. Okay. We'll go up here. Type cmd. Enter. That'll open up the command line. We just do the right click on there, which will automatically paste it. We press enter. And it's automatically going to clone that um, information. So that's the same as the uh, downloading the zip. But the reason this might be different and needed specifically for this one is there may be some files that might actually be missing in that uh, zip that they've got on their uh, page. So you're actually better off pulling it directly off their website. Okay. So I'll just get rid of that. And now we'll come over. So we can see that uh, there. So this is queer SS. It's done itself in a subfolder. That's quite fine. So we can see that there. Now we're just going to say yes, it is this machine that we're running it on. So we're going to go through yes. No, I do not have multiple GPUs. So we're going to leave that as is. No disputed training. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. You want to run training on CPU only. No, I don't want to run it on the CPU only. So we'll type no into there. Okay. Do you wish to optimize? I don't know what Dynamo is. So we'll say no to that. No to this. What GPUs should be used for the training of this machine? Well, all of them. Definitely all. So... They may be case sensitive, so type as you actually see it. Okay. Ah. FP16 is the older style. Uh, FB16 is the 30 series and up. So we want to arrow down to the FP166, um, so um, 166. Okay. And we're going to press enter on that one. 
Okay, no, that's it. Now we're done. Um, that's installed, so we can press cross. But we had those CUDA files, if you remember in the previous video that we've dropped across. Uh, sorry about that, um, Partners in Hospital. Okay, um, so we want to say install those CUDA files, which is option two here. Okay. And press that. And it's going to go through and we're done. Okay, now again from there, we want to put in that uh, in browser. So if we come down to the GUI and we just go edit, and we're going to come down to this uh, CMD line where it says Python, we're going to click up against the um, little little who's -a -do's it there, the little um, percentage sign, I'm going to put slash slash in in browser, that should be spelled right I believe the joys of dyslexia okay Let's save that okay that's it now when we click this it will just automatically open up in the browser so oh, get that for a tick. okay and we can see here it's opened up so that's it so that, that's the very important part is it does need the older version of python um, it's unable to use the new version of Python. So if you've seen the previous video and you're running into those headaches, um, delete the folder and just follow this simple little fix and uh, here. And again, I'll link below for that version of Python. So install git. Uh, you can use that git pull. I'll um, just directly link their git pull address um, in my link below. So you can just simply do that in that uh, CMD line of the folder and easily do the directory from there. So yeah, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. let's just flip that across. So yeah, that was uh, something I ran into myself. So as I said, you get these little glitches and there's something people might not be aware of. Um, so that's very important. I have put into the comments of the previous video uh, important note that you must install that old version of Python and I've put the link in that video as well. So, but uh, if you're one of the um, four people that have already viewed it and have just dove into it or you didn't read the comments and you just dove into it, um, that's how to correct it and fix the issue. Because if you've uninstalled that Python and installed the old version and trying to run it, it will not run. It needs to be deleted and freshly started again so it can install properly. Because when it's pulling, it's reading that Python and it's pulling what's needed. And that's where a lot of these error messages, I feel, were coming in. So, yeah. Um, hopefully this helps. And, yeah, I mean, ba -ba -ba -ba, if I can get back over there. Hopefully this helped you out. Like the video, uh, apologize again, and hopefully this helps you out, or perhaps you've followed one of the other YouTube videos on the internet and you're running into this problem of not being able to get it to work, and this is why. Um, it's written for an older version of Python. I've tried updating um, the Queer SS itself and I had no go with it, and the simple thing is it does require the old version. So there we go. Um, so I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching my video and sticking around to the end. If you like my videos, it'd really help me out if you could like and subscribe. It helps the YouTube algorithm to push my videos out there to more viewers, which in turn helps me and helps everyone. So thank you for watching my video and hanging around to the end, and I will see you in the next video.